In this video, an elephant has been shot and subsequently fallen onto a harvested paddy field. As social animals, elephants typically move in herds. However, during a drought, they may venture into nearby villages for food and water. Unfortunately, in this instance, an individual has resorted to shooting the elephant. The local villagers witnessed this and immediately alerted the wildlife officials to intervene. Before the arrival of the wildlife officials, the villagers took it upon themselves to provide the injured elephant with easily digestible food such as cucumber, pumpkin, and banana. Since the elephant cannot move its body, the locals feed it in a manner that is both comfortable and accommodating. During their efforts to provide aid, the villagers noticed that the elephant has a visible wound on its hind leg, which is bleeding. The prolonged stay of the elephant in the empty field has caused the area around it to become marshy, creating an environment that is not only uncomfortable for the animal, but also detrimental to its health. Although elephants are known to cause damage to crops and even demolish homes in the villages, the locals put their differences aside and come together to aid the injured animal. In a display of remarkable compassion, the villagers are even constructing a makeshift shelter for the elephant to protect it. However, despite their benevolent intentions, the elephant perceives the villagers' actions as a potential threat and attempts to attack them in defense. The wildlife officials have arrived at the site to assess the elephant. After examination, the veterinarian determined that if it required immediate medical attention. The initial course of action involves administering saline to the animal, typically through the ear vein, as it's the most accessible area for a creature of this size. The veterinarian carefully sterilizes the area and inserts a catheter into the vein, which is then connected to a saline bottle. An elephant will need around 10 to 15 bottles of saline. Glucose and dextrose were mixed into the saline bottles to nourish the elephant. This crucial procedure is essential for the elephant's well-being and represents a significant effort to save the animal's life. As the treatment progresses, a villager brings cassava to feed the elephant. The locals have a profound affection for the animal, and in a display of care and respect, they thoroughly wash the food before offering it to the elephant. This gesture reflects the villagers' desire to ensure the animal receives the best care and nourishment during its recovery. The treatment process for the elephant is well underway, and with the team administering all necessary medications to the animal. The most effective medication administration method is through the ear vein for a huge animal, as the absorption rate is faster. Hence, all the required medicines and saline are given to ensure the elephant receives the necessary nourishment to recover. Additionally, to provide the elephant with antibiotics, the team is administering intramuscular injections, which are administered into its back. This critical measure is essential for ensuring that the animal's health improves and that it recovers fully. Upon observation, the veterinarian notes that the elephant has not been drinking water and is only consuming food. Despite the team's best efforts to provide the elephant with water, it refuses to drink. This presents a serious concern, as water is essential for the animal's hydration and plays a critical role in its recovery process. The elephant's condition could worsen without adequate hydration, prolonging its recovery.
A JCB machine arrives as the officials diligently encourage the elephant to drink water. Given the animal's weakened condition, getting it back on its feet without assistance is challenging. The JCB machine is instrumental and will play a critical role in helping the animal stand again. As the elephant refuses water, the veterinarian decides to administer an enema. The lack of fluids in the animal's body can cause its fecal matter to become hard, resulting in discomfort and causing it to weaken. The enema will stimulate bowel movement, ensuring the elephant its digestive system functions correctly and remains comfortable and healthy during its recovery. The dedication of wildlife officials and villagers in treating an injured animal is truly remarkable. Despite facing numerous challenges, including the difficulty in transporting and treating a large animal, they have tirelessly worked to ensure the elephant receives the best possible care. Their commitment to the animal's well-being has been evident at every step, from feeding and providing shelter to administering medication. Their selflessness and devotion to the injured animal reflects the deeply integrated values of the community, and their efforts serve as a powerful reminder of the importance of protecting and preserving the natural world. Once the treatment had been completed, the saline tubes were removed, and a large rope was carefully placed around the elephant's neck to help it stand. Despite numerous attempts to make the elephant stand with the aid of the JCB machine, the operation proved challenging. After five hours of continuous effort, the team made the animal stand. However, it did not leave the site as night fell. A range officer was assigned to monitor its progress. The officials will continue to observe and treat the elephant until it is fully recovered, with the animal's life no longer in danger. The elephant will gradually regain its strength and health with patience and care.